Okay guys, welcome back to another video. I am here at Gymshark Lifting Club and let me tell you, this was supposed to be the most like chill. Hey, I'm at Gymshark Lifting Club. I'm gonna show you how to do my back workout. And then I just literally got the most like worst like gym anxiety ever. I had all these visions in my head. This actually was a very anxiety provoking session for me. I had massive imposter syndrome being here with a camera filming. And I'm just, I just wanted to be real with you. Even full on gym girlies who do this for a living can get like in the head and shy. But sometimes it just happens like that. So we've made progress. I'm filming this like after the session. So now I'm obviously feeling way more comfortable. I thought, you know what Sid? Why don't we just make this a video where it's back day plus gym anxiety. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. It's been fun to make. And I think you'll see that I progressively just get like more and more confident. Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get on with the video. The gym anxiety is so real. I'm not gonna lie. It's totally fine. We're just a pure gym. Just pretending I'm confident. I'm pretending. You know what? I'm so nervous. I think I'm, I'm leaving sweat prints on the floor. You know, like sometimes I just find it so surreal. Like I literally a year ago hadn't even made a gym account and now I'm here. What's going through my head is that everyone's kind of looking at me like who does she think she is filming but where are the clips but what I find helps when you are feeling like super in your head is to just not look up like I'm not gonna look at who's in this gym I'm just gonna get it done um, because I'm feeling shy I'm not gonna lie like my, right now I'm worried that I'm using the wrong bar I don't think I am I'm worried that I am so I'm just not gonna look up <laughs> right okay because this is a lightweight um, I'm gonna do like mm, 10 I think okay cool I'm gonna add and I'm gonna decrease the reps as I go literally guys my anxiety is so high right now so yeah I'm just gonna add gradually add weight I'm gonna add 10 on each side. I'm just gonna set my feet up. I like to do mixed grip, tense, core, cool, and lift. I'm trying to work out what I'm doing today. Oh my god, I need to get out of my head. Remember, if you wanna sort your weights out, literally, little weighty weight under there, slide this off. Look how easy that was. Okay, so I just said hi to someone. I always find that like talking or like saying hi to one, whoa, what's going on here? Always helps. Like it just makes you feel like you've got someone there in your corner. I'm now gonna go and use my belt because I think there's a rule where they say like use, um, use your belt when you reach like your body weight as like a good guide of like how heavy, um, how to know like when you're going heavy enough. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I felt the need to just like come in. Ignore what I just said. That's not the case. Wear the belt when you feel like you need some extra like stability in your core. I don't even know why I said that because I'm literally lifting 100 kg <laughs> and I definitely don't weigh 100 kg, but just wear the belt when you feel like you need some extra support to help you brace properly for your lifts. For me, I always do it when I reach 100. So what's that like one and a half times my weight if if we actually want to split hairs. <laughs> on, on with the video. <laughs> I feel like one of the main insecurities about being like having gym anxiety is that you think everyone's staring at you. I mean, that's how I feel right now. In my head, I think everyone's like laugh, <laughs> laughing at me. Like, who is she? Oh my god, I need to like shake this anxiety up. Like, what the hell? Sydney, come on. Hey, she's doing good. Don't mind me. Ah, is it worth it? Do 
see it. Why I did this? We have the free plates, baby. Ladies, when you do get onto the free plates, it's only right that you wear all blue. I'm gonna go for three reps. Reset. And then reset. Done. With anything you're doing, make sure you're giving yourself a de decent rest. It's so easy to like be like, oh, I wanna like rush into the next uh, set or the next exercise, but like you will see so much better progress in strength and in gains if you just allow yourself to have like a proper rest. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'll do my lift. <laughs> Should we go front angle for this one? You can see all the, I don't even know what I was gonna say. I think I was gonna say like all the stress I'm under. Okay, I've finished now. I'm gonna put my weights away. Always be a good gym rat and tidy your stuff away, guys. Always. Don't be one of those people. I'm gonna go and do some other little shenanigans. I'm just gonna put my stuff on. I actually don't mind that. I never ever did lift their feet. But I didn't, that was another. Right, let's take a little wander. I'm gonna go for lap pull down. Okay, so I'll be real. I'm actually too shy to go over to the other part of the gym. So I guess that leads me on to my next point. If you're feeling embarrassed or you're like nervous to be around certain people, just go to another part of the gym. Luckily, this gym is big enough that I can do that. So I'm gonna go and get the attachment that I want. And I'm just gonna stay in this little safe part of the gym because I'm, I'm, too, I'm too nervous. So I've just attached it there. I'm going for a lightweight to start off with. Can you see, I'm going equal hands. Can you see when I do this, I'm like lifting up that part there. So you're just gonna, they're always normally highlighted like a yellow or something, but just do that so that when you're, so that you can tuck him. Like so. And then bring it to my dress. Oh, that was like 12 reps. I definitely could have gone higher. But I was just doing that as like a warm up set. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna go for 38 kg. Um, guys, I'm sorry I didn't talk that much like and actually talk you through deadlifting. I literally felt too embarrassed. I'm feeling a bit better now. <laughs> I think this is way too ambitious. Right, we're gonna try and go for eight to 10 reps. That was like nine and a half. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if I had a heart rate monitor on right now, Jesus Christ. Because this isn't as crazy, like they're lifting, you know, that's really exerting a lot of energy, a lot of like just strength. I like to go for like a two minute rest. Gonna make sure my hands are equal. And I'm gonna sit down, knees tucked under, flat on the floor. And I'm gonna retract, not like this, like retract, and then pull down to your chest. Elbows under the arm. You can have your thumbs over or under. 10, done. Watch me just scanning, like every person in here, like, hello. Um. <laughs> I think because I'm so flustered, I forgot to say, but normally I would go and do pull-ups now. Because you're already going to be pretty tired from the deadlifts. Now I'm going to be even more tired because now I'm doing a lap pull-down as well. Bum, 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 bum. I remember when I came here last time, I was like, oh, so 
where, where's all this equipment to clean this gym down with? And they said they don't have it. This is a fun fact for you, a little inside scoop. They said they don't have it because they have someone coming around cleaning. <laughs> kind of iconic. Okay, I'm gonna go for my final one. Hands equal. Oh, ten. Done. Ish. Whoa. Oh my god, I nearly fell. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do pull ups now. The time has come. Look how much stuff they have. It's absolutely incredible. So maybe I'll go here. <laughs> oh my god. I actually can't deal with how wonky my camera is up today. Okay. I wish I had some chalk. I wonder if they've got some here. I'm gonna go and ask someone. If in doubt, ask someone. Excuse me. Sorry, do you guys know if there's any chalk here? Excellent. Oh, is that all right? Yeah, amazing, thank you. Got the tub of chalk. Everything they have here is so nice. Okay, I just like to do as many reps as possible. If you are gonna use, if you can't do pull-ups, cool, that's fine. Use a pull-up machine and just like try to eventually like get down the weight or use bands. I think bands are better because you can actually like get used to, you don't rely on the machine so much, um, but yeah. a bit tired, I'm not gonna lie. I think I tired myself out a bit too much. I'm gonna run over there and get one of their bands. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, gosh, maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm not sure, but I think the thinner they're about, the less resistance it's got. So when you stretch down, it's kind of like less force pulling you up, less stretch. Loop it over. Oh no, not this again. <laughs> yeah. Yes, like so. And then you put your leg in. I'm gonna get a box. I don't trust myself. The reason why I'm also going for a band is because I wanna work on good form and the only way you're gonna work on good form is by doing that the whole time. So I'm only gonna put one leg in. I'm gonna get my hands ready. Literally, go, you can cross your leg as well. And then pull up. You just feel the assistance. Come on, eight. Okay. Oh my God, that was... Oh my god, I just zoned out so hard. All right, let me take this band down. Beautiful, mate. Ooh. I can put this back. I'm gonna start off again with a lighter breath just as a warm up. Maybe like a 14. And I'm doing this one sided, it's very important. I'm making sure I'm doing one sided movements. When you don't have one sided movements, as in like you're doing one arm and then the other arm, that's when you're gonna start getting imbalances. So with all of the other exercises so far, I've been really like just doing them, using both arms or whatever. Cause we did deadlifts, we did lat pull downs, we've done pull ups. So this is just now my exercise where I'm working on one side and then the other. And I'm also gonna go and do rear delts after this and we'll do the same. So you're gonna lean over. Do you know what? Actually, I'm not gonna do this one. <laughs> I'm gonna le lean this like this and I'm gonna go like here instead of leaning over. I just think it's a better, better angle to like hit the muscle. 
maybe even lower. Yeah, like that. So you're gonna bring it back and down. And this is one of the exercises where I said, make sure you're not just dropping it. Make sure you're actually lowering it. Okay, cool. Okay, let's <laughs> just posing for a bit. Okay, and we're gonna go again. So I'm gonna keep that shoulder in place. I'm gonna bring it up. That's tiring. I wanted to be in the, honestly, eight to 10 rep range. And I was, that was 18 and I did 12. So that's like a clear indication for me that I need to go up. So I'm gonna go up to, I need to believe in myself. Do I go 20 or, I feel like you guys would say go 22. So I'm gonna try that. Strong girl, getting those gains. Okay, eek. Oh no. Make sure you start on the right arm. Um, okay, ready? Let's let's see how <laughs> let's see how this goes. <sighs> right on. That was A. Okay. You should always start with your weaker side. I I haven't done that, which would have made sense. So you can make sure you're matching reps. Damn it! I am literally the bag lady. <laughs> okay, final thing we're gonna do is rear down knees. Every gym will have this. It's kind of a little bit confusing because your rear delts are like, you think that they're shoulders, but honestly I do them with that day. Because we're doing rear delts, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna be bringing it back. So we want the start of the movement to be closest here. A lot of it's just guesswork for me. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, I don't know who was doing 40 kg rear delts, but good on you, lad. Okay, so you're gonna want your elbows to be in line with these here, like so. So I'm gonna raise the like so see yeah there you go and I'm keeping I'm not dropping my elbows like this I'm keeping them up like so that's too light so I'm gonna adjust so with this I'm just gonna go for like 10 to 12 reps nice straight back you can lean into the pad and we're just gonna bring it back and bring it forward I'm gonna go up next time uh, two minutes rest has passed. I'm gonna, I've upped the weight as well, and now I'm gonna have another go. Set three. Okay, that is everything done. We have to do the obligatory photo. I did it. I'm proud of myself. Um, oh my God, I'm still being so shy. Right, outro, outro, outro. That was good. I also can hear them playing Fred again. I hope I don't get copyrighted, but kind of like respect. What gyms do you know that play actual bangers? Like an actual banger, not one where you're like, I wish I had headphones. My headphones are dead, but like, I'm actually glad they have good music taste. Anyway, I'm gonna hop in the showers and then I'm gonna get a train home. I'm feeling proud of myself. I feel like it was at my comfort zone. 
Maybe I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed anyway. But yeah, I hope you were able to take something from that. And um, don't forget to give this a like and subscribe. It helps me out so much in terms of just like pushing the channel out to other girls that maybe could benefit from this kind of chill vlog vibe. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Over and out. I think I'm done. <laughs> Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. God, this is like the longest outro. Okay, bye, bye, bye.